hello and welcome back to another Doomfist tutorial, and I'm sorry I haven't made a tutorial in a while, I've actually been waiting for an intro uh, from a person on Give Know How Forums, which should be at the beginning of this video, so if you see that intro, then the uh, intro is made by Demon Siege, and the music most likely was made by uh, Abnon. Uh, I've asked him, I'm not sure he hasn't replied yet, but if he replies, then that music was made by him, unless I leave a note in the description saying that it wasn't, because I'm making this before I actually get it. Okay, so this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how to make a pressed in effect. I'm not sure if actually someone's made a tutorial for this already. The only tutorial I've watched really on pressed in effects is uh, IGX tutorials, and it's not the same one as that. So, open up GIMP. And there we go. Create a new file. Uh, whatever size you want, I'll just keep it default. Uh, now I'm going to take a uh, just blue uh, foreground. Just a darker blue foreground, uh, 005794. Lighter blue background, 2C77AC. Uh, take your gradient tool, set it on radial, and just short from the middle. Out. And I did that backwards. So just switch it up, and then go. Now duplicate this layer, and set this top layer on multiply. So we have this. Now get your text tool, and then just drag it out. Just do jagged. And, uh, that's pretty good right now. We don't really. It's good size right there, so we're just going to center it, which will uh, take out the text properties. So, once it's uh, auto cropped, you just go to layer auto crop. Uh, center it exactly by pressing the zoom. Make sure it's on the top. And then just right click on it and press layer to image size. And now we have our text. So what we want to do is uh, give it a pressed in effect. So create a new layer. Put it under your text layer. Now make a box around your text layer. And fill it just with any color. It doesn't matter. Now uh, alpha to selection your uh, text layer. And then go on your new layer and press delete or select. I mean edit clear. And then I'll give you uh, an empty thing like that. Now uh, select none. Uh, now go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And what we want to do is we want to give it about a 4 uh, X and Y offset and a blur radius of around 10. Uh, do not allow resizing and move the opacity up to 100. It doesn't really matter. You can be changing it. You can change it whatever to whatever you want later. Okay, now hide this layer right here. Uh, alpha to selection your text layer. Then go on your drop shadow layer. Go select uh, invert. Then go edit clear. Now hide your text layer. And all other layers besides your drop shadow. Then go select none. And there we go. We got a pretty good start for a kind of a pressed in effect. You're not going to. Um, you can use this, I suppose, if you want. It doesn't really look good. It, I mean, it looks okay, but I mean, it looks a lot better like this, in my opinion. So now we just want to give it kind of a gloss on the outside. So what we're going to do is alpha to selection the text layer, and you don't want to delete that because you need it for a reference point. Uh, go to select, save to channel, and go back. Now uh, take your move tool and move selection, and you want to actually move it up a little tiny bit, kind of like that. I'll zoom in a little so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm moving it up this way uh, to the uh, north west instead of that way you'll see why later then just go select say channel now in your channels dialog right click on this bottom one and uh, go channel to selection that'll move it back to the first channel we saved then on this top one go uh, subtract from selection and it subtracts everything that was not on there so if we moved it up it would have gone the other way we want it opposite of the uh, drop shadow so go back on your normal layer and then make sure you have your move on select and zoom in a little if you want and just move it right outside of the uh, text just like that. Well, that looks pretty good right there. Now fill that with white just solid white on a new layer on the top and that's much too big. So I'll put selection it. Go so actually no we won't want to do that. Just uh, lower the opacity if you want. Now we're gonna blur it. Go to filters blur Gaussian blur and blur by whatever you want, depending on how much you want the 
kind of a pressed in, well not pressed in, whatever. And then if you want to, just uh, zoom in a little, move it to wherever you want, and make sure you move the, uh, whatever this first one is, layer. Yeah, it should be pretty good right there. And then you can keep it like that if you want with the white kind of going on both, or if you would like, just off the selection of the, jack, the text layer, press delete or clear on the okay, just off the selection this again. And on the uh, white layer. That looks pretty good right there. It kind of gives it a bubbly effect. That's what I was looking for before, but I couldn't really explain it. And now you can see what I mean. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry again that it's been so long. Again, another reason it's been going uh, taking so long is because I actually have bought a domain name, which is why I typed Jagged right here. The domain name is uh, jaggedgraphics.com. It is currently under construction, but I am working on it uh, a lot, so that's why I haven't ma made a tutorial. So if you would like, you can check that out. I have the forums open. Uh, it's a pro board. I haven't uh, manually uh, just hosted it yet, and it's got a really crappy skin that I just whipped up really quick. Uh, so I'm actually buying a skin from, uh, or actually someone in on the uh, forums is buying a skin from uh, G Goody on Give Know How and many other places. He's uh, amazing at doing pro board skins. So um, he's gonna buy that. I'm probably gonna put that in and create a new skin using some of that. Uh, just create a new skin along with that. So make it look a little better. But right now, pretty much just under construction and the forums are just there just to be there pretty much. So. Uh, check that out if you get a chance. Uh, I should have, uh, it's the uh, 30th of April today, should have the website, the beta one version 1.0 out, the end of the weekend should, it should be out by then. And uh, I'll actually show you a uh, layout design of it. Now I'm, this is probably going to go over 10 minutes and I'm probably going to might have to cut this out. But here's what it's basically going to look like. Actually I have made a few modifications to this. I haven't saved them though. Uh, as a JPEG I saved them as a uh, XCF. Uh, the jagged graphics, the news and the links are actually going to be on this side. They are going to scroll down with you so it's going to be on its own separate frame. And then as you click them it will bring out the, as uh, if you click jagged graphics, the logo, it should bring out the, the uh, navy bar, news, news, links. Links. So there's just going to be uh, these three things will be uh, frames, and then this, the, only the body will scroll. So uh, from what I perceive it looking like, it's going to be really cool. So uh, I hope you get, hope you're able to check that out. So this is a gift with tutorial. I will see you next time.